Today on Drawly, we are drawing sushi. Colorful sushi. Colorful sushi. <laughs> Click that subscribe button if you are new around here, and if you have a cool idea for something else we can draw in the future, let us know down in the comments below. We're gonna do some colorful sushi. Emphasis on colorful. Or at least that's my emphasis. I'm yeah. going to try to make mine as colorful and fun as possible. Same, same, same. Same, same, same. Ooh, we could have done some like, ugh, we can't talk what ifs, right? That's not what we're, we live our lives right, like. Right. But we could have done some really interesting or unique color palettes. I feel like with food though, that's a little dangerous because you can make things look unappetizing very mm -hmm, quickly mm -hmm. if you are not careful. Yes. Uh, but I'm gonna be focusing on uh, some colorful sushi. I'm going to try to use some hard shapes, uh, which I often do, but specifically, I have this new hard paint brush from uh, Florian. I don't remember Florian's first name, but uh, he's got a free brush set. If you go onto artstation.com and search for Florian, Florian, uh, you will find him and his free brush set. Um, but yeah, would recommend. He's got some cool brushes in there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm playing around with one here right now. The hard paint brush. It's pretty much just a, uh, it's just a round brush. I mean, it's not, not anything fancy. But it doesn't change size or opacity with your brush sensitivity. Okay. Which sounds like something you wouldn't want, right? Like, okay. It seems counterintuitive because yeah. you got this pressure sensitive pen. But it does create like a rather cool effect. Oh, rather, cool. rather visually interesting effect. Well, I am using a watercolor brush set that I just found for free on some website. Oh, you're using um, new brushes too? It says it's Rowenic watercolor brushes. So if you want to search those, if you end up liking the ones I use, that's what I'm using. What is Rowenic? I think it's just a name, the username of the person who created this brush set. Well, it's a cool username. Yeah, I think so. Do you have a cool username, Abby? I don't think I'm gonna do that that way. No, I have only usernames that I generated when I was like 14 years old, and I have not gotten any better at generating usernames. Darn. Ah, uh, yeah. It's one of my shortcomings in life. Like yeah. Mine are not good. <laughs> my email address is juvenile. It's not like one of those silly ones that people come up with, like as, like their first ones that have all like the not the uh, crass references. Uh, your yeah, but your email is bigbootyho at it gmail .com. Is not. <laughs> It is not. And I'm not going to say what it is because, you know, that's private, although it's so probably readily available. But it had to do with my middle name and my love of books. And I will say that books is right there in the address. It is. <laughs> the it's very, very, prof books. very professional email address. Yes. Um, yeah, I made an email a long time ago that uh, I still use to this day that uh, I, yeah, I will also not say what the the email address is because it's not great it's not big booty ho or anything but uh it's it's just kind of really lame it's just kind of really lame <laughs> it, here here's what else you know i feel i feel like i probably shouldn't even say this it has the word email in the email address oh my gosh. that is how lame this email address is that is excellent but it's like my uh my junk email address where i just send everything now all the all the junk that I don't mm -hmm. don't want to going to my main inbox. I have yeah an email address like that. That's from even earlier than my books email address. Ugh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Email is just such a hot topic. You know, it's. I feel like we could really milk this in terms of conversation. All of, all the things email. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't want to though. That was sarcasm, Abby. I was being <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> Because email's really lame to talk That's so about. so lame. How is your uh, colorful sushi coming over there? Good. I've turned off my background entirely to what? try to encourage me to like really saturate my colors. Whoa. I'm going for a watercolor thing here. Oh, that's the type of feel? You're going for? Yeah, just a very simple I love it. That's like, awesome. watercolor. So, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, that'll um, be really cool. Well, I mean, it could be really cool. Sorry. Exactly. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to set you up for failure. Thank you. Thank you. Mine is going to be really cool. Good. I don't want to brag, but I mean, it's gonna be really cool. 
I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited. So what kind of sushi did you choose? Well, there's quite a few different types of sushi here. I almost had you choose the, my sushi picture for me just to be in keeping with the fact that every time we go out for sushi, I make you order the sushi. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm one of those uh those guys that has to order for the woman. No, but no. I'm one of those girls that's like, I don't want to pick the sushi. You pick the sushi. I just want to eat the sushi. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the it's... only food that I do this for yeah. because she does not know what sushi is good and what is I not. I do, but at the same time, I kind of feel like a princess when I sit there and somebody just brings me delicious food and I don't even have to think about it. You know, sushi is so good and if you are somebody that has not like ever tried sushi, I would recommend. I, I think the holdup is probably that it's like raw fish, you know, that's like the the big thing mm -hmm. for a lot of people. They're like, oh, it's raw food, but people eat like uh, close to raw steaks all the time. And fish is actually totally fine to consume in its raw state, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it's not gonna hurt you at all. One of my sisters, when she started dating, um, the guy's would always take her out for sushi. The guys? That, like, multiple guys? Not, like, like all in a group. No. Uh, <laughs> what? No. I mean, like, it was just a through line uh, with all the guys that she went on dates with? Yeah, they would all take Why? her out for sushi because they thought that was such a cool thing to do, and it was. But she oh. didn't like sushi. Oh, that's... And that didn't change, like, through exposure. That's rough. Yeah. That'll do it, huh? Yeah, because it was the same for me. Like, oh, good, okay, we're going out for sushi, yeah. But I liked it. I was like, oh, yeah, sushi, yes, okay. Um, oh, they thought they were being, like... Um, like, cool and, like, creative, I guess? I don't know. Like, trendy. Yeah, like, like oh, <laughs> girls love sushi. Let's go out for some sushi. Babes dig sushi. Sushi joints are often cool joints, too, you know? The coolest of joints. Yeah. So. Chicks dig sushi. Well, not that, not that chick. Hey, everybody listening, if you're looking to pick up some babes, go to the sushi place. Go to the local sushi joint. Abby, where do you go to pick up babes? Sushi babes. Sushi babes? Probably at the sushi places. Um, I mean, that's where I found you. And you didn't. We met at a... <laughs> We, our first date was at this really classy cocktail lounge that I suggested. Oh, did you? I, I did. I you did. suggested it? Uh-huh. Yeah, I couldn't come up with any, like, I said, let's go get sushi, and she said, lame. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I forget how it, I think I just chose it. Um, You're like, this this idiot. Because I knew it was a cool place. This idiot well, doesn't know anything. He <laughs> invited fair, me to get sushi, like a, oh God, he's, he thinks I'm a sushi babe. No. <laughs> I am a sushi bib. Our favorite restaurant that we go to on dates is a sushi restaurant. Uh, well, I. it's just a Japanese restaurant. It's got all sorts of things. That's true. But we do true. often just get sushi there. Yes. Um, but no, you went to a nice cocktail lounge. This is true. It's the kind where they play from a record player. And I've said this before oh, and I've do? never done it. But if you sit by the record player, they'll let you pick the records. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fancy. Mm-hmm. So you're a sushi bib and a record bib? Um, I guess I'm not really a record bib because I don't have records. <laughs> and I don't really want to acquire them because I don't... I like records, but I also don't want to acquire a bunch of, like, stuff right now. Can the name of this episode be Sushi Bibs? Sushi Bibs. Yeah. How, do we, how are we going to spell the bibs portion? Uh, obviously. I mean, it's so... I mean, it's so obvious as... It's uh, yeah. Bibs. Bibs. B e b b s. Bibs. Bibs. <laughs> okay. Bibs. <laughs> sushi bibs. <laughs> How to pick up a sushi bib. Yeah, that's what we'll title it. How to pick up a sushi bib. So. What you... kind of sushi do you order somebody on a sushi bib date? Uh, we well, gotta go with something simple. You don't want to go to like you don't want to get the the fish eggs right away. No, that was my first sushi bib date. Was oh, okay. with this <laughs> yeah. the, like. Different colored sushi on, uh, no, different colored eggs on every piece of sushi. Oh, wow. And I was very impressed, and that was my first time having sushi. We went to oh, uh, really? Soho's. It didn't last, but the love for sushi did. Wow, way to talk about other dates <laughs> right in front of me. That's why wow. I said it didn't last. I you was know like what? emphasizing like, no, it wasn't meant to be at You're all. You're no longer he my sushi babe. Guy. I am too your sushi beb. You can't <laughs> demote me from sushi beb. You've been... You've been, you've been demoted. No, to, I'm uh, your forever sushi beb. You are now a sushi pleb. Pleb? <laughs> yeah. Sushi pleb? What does that even mean? You wouldn't understand. You're I, not. I guess not. You're not uh, You're not nerdy enough. It's okay. Okay, what? you can still be sushi beb. 
Thanks. But um, yeah, so so first first date options. What's the what's the good go to, Abby? That's not sushi. A cocktail lounge. A cocktail lounge. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was super cool. It was a what if you're party too town. What if you're too young to go to a cocktail lounge? Uh, then you shouldn't be dating at all. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Jeez, yeah. you're yeah, too that's young. True. Too young, too young to pick up sushi bibs. Yes, don't be trying to pick up sushi bibs when you're that young, because odds are. Nobody has the money for sushi yet. Although sushi, you could go to. What are you talking about? That's like always sushi. Half price. Sushi is like not that expensive. It's, well, I guess it depends where you live, but uh, in general, sushi is not that expensive. I have found. Yeah. A lot of the time, like many places we have gone to, are I, I don't understand why this is, but the sushi is always, and I repeat, always half price. Half price sushi. And it'll say it on the sign outside. Yeah, it'll be like fresh, completely fresh fish. And it'll just say, hey, our sushi is half price all the time. And you're like, wait, all the time? Then why isn't that just the price of the... No, you're getting a deal here. I thought that was the norm until um, you went with me to meet some of my family at a sushi place that was half price sushi. And I thought, oh, yeah, because that's how sushi always is. Because that's no. where I grew up. And you were like, what? Half price sushi all the time? Yeah, it doesn't make and any I was sense. Like, Wait, it's not always that way. <laughs> well, it doesn't make any sense at all <laughs> when you think about it. Have it... I been erasing this whole time instead of painting? What? No. Abby, how do you not I don't realize? Know. How am I going to. But how can I tell? Oh, I know. I can turn on this. How thing. can you tell? Is it making paint? Is it erasing the paint? I I think it is Abby, painting. Abby, I think I think there's a How fair distinction tell? between painting and erasing. Yeah. I don't. Look, I think I was painting. I don't want to. I don't want to help you with this oh, one. You I think what? you can figure this one out. I think right here out. you can tell I was erasing. What did I just do? Erasing. Oh yeah, because right there you could see through to the grid marks under because I didn't have my background tisk, on. Tisk. And there you could. So okay, I think we're here safe, everybody. I think we're safe. Thank goodness. Except for here, you can tell like. You can see right through it. Abby, you're embarrassing us in front of my friends. Mm, what friends? <laughs> Abby, you're embarrassing us. Mm -mm. You're making us look like plebs. What is a pleb? <laughs> you're making us look like we don't know what we're doing. We're not even sushi bebs. <laughs> a pleb is a plebeian. That's what I thought, but is it like a modern term? Uh, it is on the in the video game world. So am mm. I a... I don't want to be a pleb. <laughs> you're not. I mean, uh, I am one technically, so I don't have like this. No, we are we are both uh, drawing drawing plebs. We uh, oh. I cannot sample this color. Speak for yourself, then. Okay, I will. Um, I am a and for me. <laughs> you okay. order the sushi. <laughs> You're such a man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am uh, definitely a beginner at the whole drawing. Um, how are you doing your rice? Um, I'm doing it a solid white, and then I'm gonna add like little like gray dents in it. Gray dents. Yeah, just to indicate some Grad variance. Gradients. Right now I'm adding You're adding gradients. Nope. Gray dents. Oh, gray dent. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was double checking. And you did say gray dents and not gray dents. All right. Cool. Good. Excellent. Uh, I am. I'm doing this for my rice. Does this look like rice? Does this look like anything? Find out next time on Drawbly. And by next time, I do mean this time. <laughs> <laughs> Find out in a few short moments. I'm thinking I'm going to fade out the opacity on said rice. Oh, one time I went on a fish date um, and we had fish, but it was bad because, oh, this, I don't know if I should tell this story because- Abby, look, I was talking about rice and drawing rice and you out of the blue brought this up. So you have to tell this story. Okay, so at the time I was much younger and living at home with my, you know, my parents and we had animals. Lots I've, of animals, I've heard you know. of them, yeah. One time, one of the cats decided to have her kittens way hidden away okay. where we didn't know she'd had them for days. And I think she had them like in a, not a barn, but like the shed. Anyway, we found the kittens and the poor babies had fleas Aww. and lots of fleas. So Sunday morning, 
I was, you know, just bathing them gently and getting all these fleas Oh my off. God. Did and you so, get fleas? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I went out for fish later and we got sesame seeds on the fish like I'm drawing now. Uh -huh. And I looked down at it. Reminded you of the And fleas. I could barely eat it. I was just too close to that moment of the uh, fleas and how horrifically traumatic that had been. Very traumatic, oh, yes. I but I, I, I think I still ate the fish. <laughs> but I still ate it. <laughs> just like I'd eat those fleas. No! Abby, I don't know why you have this obsession with eating fleas, but... I don't, girl, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Yes, I will need to make my suji more vibrant. You know what? That is too much, too much detail. We're going to try something a little different. Yes, my sushi is nowhere near vibrant enough, Abby. I've decided. I need to brighten things up and probably get away from using the hard brush quite as much. The hard brush is cool, but you can't just use the hard brush the whole time. Mm -mm. You know? It starts to get a little, a little too hard. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't want to be crass, but it does. But it totally does. <laughs> uh, I got some cool sauce on my sushi. Do you have any cool sauce? No, no sauce on my sushi. I kind of shied away from sauce for the sushi. I didn't know there was sauce on my sushi. I should have examined it. Procreate wise, something I've been into lately is using the other kind of color picker that's not the circle. I like the um, square because it has the bars at the bottom that you can slide. The HSV. Yeah, is that what that is? The saturation. I like how you can slide the bars and it changes and where your color is. or value. Yeah. It just seems intuitive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. to each their own. I like the circle, personally, but I think they're both equally Maybe viable. I'll circle back to the circle. <laughs> circle gets the square. I don't actually know what that means, but I've heard people say it in business lingo, and I think it's like, I mean, it's something that cool people say, obviously. You think I'm kind of like people a, are cool? I'm kind of like a business person myself. Business Ben. I do a little bit you're of business. You're a business bib. A business bib? Yeah, I'm a sushi bib, you're a business bib. Why, thank you. Welcome. Great, fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. Excellent. <laughs> Um, well, hey, we need to do some finishing touches ah, on our sushi. Oh, no. Uh, do you have any idea what you're going to do for your finishing touches? I'm trying. I'm going well, you got, to. You got time. Hey, you got, you got yeah. some time to do some finishing touches. I'm going to saturate my sushi. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to saturate mine, too. Are you? Yes. That's a great idea. I'm glad you thought of it. Thanks. I'm gonna turn the brightness all the way up on this. All the way, oh, Abby, whoa. Slow it down. And then duplicate, 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 and then merge. And then I forget, I saw somebody do this once when they did watercolors, but for the life of me, I don't recall what. Maybe then I dropped the opacity. I don't know your watercoloring strat or what you're trying to do, so I cannot help you. Mm, well, I think it worked. What, what were you trying to do? So you know how sometimes I have a problem where I don't fully color through something? Yes, I am aware. <laughs> um, this is to try to help with that. Ah, so you just duplicate your layer? Just duplicate? Yeah, several times and then hike up the brightness oh, on it. Talking is hard. Hike it, um, hike it up. Hike that layer. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I kind of get the general gist of what you're trying to accomplish. I'm here for it. Don't forget to give your sushi some shadows, Abby. Shadows are like the most important part of sushi. We'll see if I have time. Because I'm just now adding in some shadows. And wow, it's making such a difference. My sushi looks so good with shadows. Good. I am doing a new layer. A new layer? At this time? Abby, we're so deep in. To be making new layers right now? Right now. You are crazy. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, I guess, but I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it at this point. I have already done it. I've already done it. Too risky. That's just a simple, like, thing. I like my shadows. I'm blurring them. I really like the Gaussian, Gaussian blur. 
uh, but I probably overuse it. I probably do it a little too much. But the soft brush scares me. It frightens me, everyone. This is... It, I feel like the soft brush is the quickest way to having your work look digital. Ooh, I, yeah, this is true. I would agree with that. Whoops. The quickest way to make something look digital is me messing up the liquify tool. Oh, I know. Big brain time. Wait, no. Small brain time. Big brain time. It is this distort. Is this it? I'm trying to change my perspective. Ooh. You could always use some new perspective. You can always use new perspective. I am adding some shading mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to my stuff and having a very good time doing it. Yes, that was that was a lovely time. And now I'll add some shading to that my That was sushi. a lovely time. <laughs> I've had a good time. Um, I'll add another layer here. I'm going a little layer happy, I feel like, this time around. You really are, yeah. Sometimes that just is what happens, and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. You I know, don't people don't talk about how it's okay to go a little layer crazy. I the right color crazy. for the shading up here, though. I think I need maybe something darker. Yeah. I can't help you. I can't tell you the secret to your artistic success. You have to find it yourself. I can't be your art Sherpa when you I can't even Sherpa kind of myself. You already are my art Sherpa. I don't. Sorry. I don't think that's true. You are. <laughs> how, how so? You've taught me so much. Are you kidding me? Uh, you've taught me so much. Name one thing I've taught you. Uh, masks. Uh, masks. <laughs> masks. Yeah? And what did I teach you about masks? That they exist. That really, being a good Sherpa, then. Yeah, you are. You're a great Sherpa. I'll follow you into the digital dark. What? What? Uh, what? It made more sense in my head. The digital dark? You know, like, I will follow you anywhere into the, into the art world as long as you lead the Once way. Once more into the digital fray. Yes. And I'm going to blend with some watercolor here. Uh, yes. Got Ooh, it. No. Abby, rice is hard to draw. Yeah, remember how we always circle back to the idea of a thing? The I yeah, ooh, yeah, I do. I do remember Just give that. yourself the idea of it. You'll be quite happy, I think. Yeah. I'm happy with my work just on the, this is a very impressionistic piece, I think. I love it. Yeah. Here on Drawbly, we're all about the impressionism, impressionism because that's all we can do. That's yeah, all we can do. for. We're not much past it. That's okay. That's I don't like what I did there. That's all we can hope for, is to impress upon you <laughs> that we are making a thing. Wow, this rice is certainly taking a turn. Is it a good turn? Mm. Mm. That's a great question. I think I need to reduce, yeah, the opacity maybe? I don't know, my rice is looking so defined and I wanted it to be more of a loose idea of rice. That's mm. too much like confetti. Too, yeah, you gotta get looser with it. You're too tight. Loosen up. My rice isn't perfect, but you know, nobody is. Nobody's rice is perfect. But I like how this has turned out. It's Except for simple. that Shiro guy, or whatever his name is, the Jiro? I think it's Jiro. Jiro dreams of sushi, you know what I'm talking about? He's like the sushi expert. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. There's like a whole documentary about this guy. Hmm. He's like uh, the sushi master. Wow, I want to see that. My brother, one of my brothers used to work at one a restaurant. One of your 30 brothers, I know, yes. where he made sushi. And he actually created a sushi roll for the restaurant one time. Oh, like he had one named after him, essentially? Uh, I don't know if he named it after himself. <sighs> wow. I think he just gave it a name. The lack of hubris. He should yeah. have. <laughs> he should have. He has the lack. <laughs> I would have named it after myself. Ben's sushi. Ooh, our final goal for Drawbly, our big dream, to have a sushi named after us. This should be our greatest heart's Good desire. Goal. Do you have any chopsticks in your sushi Why, drawing? Why, yes, I do. <gasps> Why, yes, you do. Yeah. Are you? Did you make them? What do you mean? Did you draw them? Did yeah. You, did you draw your chopu sticku? Yes, I did. And? Did you draw yours? Yeah, I'm fixing mine. Mine are so simple, but I love their simplicity. I actually really like them just for like how they look. Yeah. Yeah. Although I do need to go back and that reminds me to do something on one of them. I need to get back to my impressionism state. That's where I really shined, you know. You shone. 
I shoned. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you uh, for correcting me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's where I shoned the brightest, the broadest. Your impressionism. Yeah. I just need to get back to that. I've just, uh, I've been lacking mm -hmm. ever since. Mm -hmm. I've just really. Impressionism is so like more friendly to newer artists. Yeah, it's like a cave painting. No, it's better than that. Oh, is it? Yes. Well, maybe I mean... some people's, but not mine. No. Do you feel like you're in a good stopping point there with your with your sush? I think I'm where. Yes, I think I've gotten to it the best I can do. Do you have any uh? Do you have any <laughs> guacamole in your? Oh, some <laughs> wasabi. <laughs> no, I don't. I did not include any wasabi in. There's mine. this little animation online, uh, where. Well, it's from, oh gosh, I can't, it's an adult swim show with the guy from Step Brothers with the crazy curly hair. I can't think of his name, but uh, he does this stupid show on adult swim and um, somebody animated this scene from the show where he's with a sushi chef and he's like, oh yeah, we got all this blah, blah, blah. And we got some guacamole over here. And the mm. sushi chef just says, wasabi, oh, wasabi. And he goes, yeah, yeah, guacamole. It's kind of, yeah, wasabi tea. Or, Wasabi to you too, or something like that. <laughs> and he's just like, no, no, wasabi. And then he just eats a giant spool, spoonful of it, and it is horrendous. Quite spicy. <laughs> I did eat a giant ball of wasabi on accident at one point. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. Not very good. I would, all. that would like fry me forever. I would never taste again. Yeah, that's pretty much how I felt. Well, can I see your sushi? I mean, you're already looking at it. Gosh. I'm waiting for whatever it is you're about to do to it, though. You're going to do something. Am I? Yeah. What am I gonna do to it? I don't know, flip it, like you just did. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sushi. Let me see. This is what I got. Oh, That's cool, look at the my color sushi. variance is so subtle, so nice. Mm -hmm. I like, I like that uh, third one down here that is the pink going into the orange. The stirred one? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, th this one. That? It's stirred? No, the third one. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a daily occurrence in our house. What? The third one? Just not hearing. Yes, you but like the third one down. Understand. Why, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd do more of that if I had time. Uh, I, I liked it, yeah. I like sushi a lot, so, and I like drawing it. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Can I check out your sushi? Yeah, please do. Ooh, I love the color palette here. Like very flat, very visually distinct and yeah. interesting. I watched somebody do this on YouTube, just kind of this simple watercolor sushi thing. I'll, I'll post her thing, I guess, in the description. Um, Cause that's where I decided how I was gonna do this. Yeah, it's a really cool, fun style. Honestly, this feels like, you know, you draw some, some kanji up here and this could be like a little uh, like tapestry hanging from the wall in a sushi shop. Mm. Yeah, it's very cool. It makes me feel professional. So professional. Aww. Well, hey, everybody, click that subscribe button if you are new around here and want to see us draw some more cool things in the future. Speaking of, you should comment below and let us know what cool things we could try drawing in the future. Mm -hmm. We love that. And this is the part where we say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that sushi looks amazing. I like the watercolorness of it. It's the coolest sushi I've ever seen. Wow. And I've seen a lot of cool sushi. We've seen a lot of cool sushi because we're sushi bibs.